I paid uh, $6 a piece because they were unique looking. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I have a lot of stuff to get through today. So by the title, you probably know what you're getting yourself into. I have a ton of made in Japan, we're talking 1920s, 1930s, ceramic pieces here. A lot of it is marked made in Japan, some of it's marked Nippon, some of it is Noritake. A lot of fun things. This is going to be a two-part video of a haul because there is so just so much and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, so I want to give a little preliminary, preliminary information about the things I'm about to talk about and some dates. So when we're talking about made in Japan items that are marked made in Japan on the bottom, in this case, what we're going to be looking at is the 20s and 30s. So we can kind of rest assured that's the time frame of them. They could also be as early as 1911 in the case of Noritake and as early as 1891. So I want to just throw all those dates out there and I'll try to maybe give you exact dates when I can when we come to them. But where I was able to get all this stuff from, I learned about a opportunity that would allow me to go and buy a whole bunch of things from an antique mall that was closing down or supposedly closing down. So there was not a lot of variants there, a lot of Oriental, Japan, stuff like that. That was kind of the bulk of it. So I pretty much bought mostly that. So in this haul video especially, there is not going to be anything else besides those time periods. And then in tomorrow's video, it will mostly be that same thing mixed with some 40s, 50s items. But we're all talking, you know, a good age range there. So older stuff. Uh, the other thing I want to say is how much I spent on everything, which was quite a lot. So everything I'm going to show you today and tomorrow cost me just over $400. I know, it's quite a bit. It's a little bit of a gamble, but that is what this business is. So they were doing a 50% off sale for us, Barb included. She was along with me though. She didn't really buy as much. And uh, so a lot of it was 50% off. Some things she did not want to budge on and I received I think 30% off. And then something in tomorrow's video was only like 20% off because it had more value to her. So you'll find that with certain dealers, uh, things will have different amounts of value to them and they'll want to hang on to and, and try to find a, another buyer for to, to pay more. So with the way that local market is in that town, I don't think she's going to have a lot of luck going forward with the kind of stuff she has with the price point that she has on it. So um, I'm not sure. But what we're going to talk about here is these things. So I want to first start off with what's known as Thousand Faces. It, beautiful stuff and we're gonna be doing close-ups of these again because that's the way we do it now so I have an entire set of this double T Japan in the thousand faces pattern the thousand the thousand faces pattern refers to all these little tiny uh, faces all over it and this is a really great large set so uh, we have five teacups and then I honestly didn't even go through and check what we had. Uh, we have at least three of the saucers, another t smaller saucer. Actually, I think we have five saucers and five teacups. That's right, good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, what looks like bread plates or dessert plates. We've got a wall pocket, uh, the teacup, or the teapot, the sugar, the creamer. So it's a very nice set with a lot of great pieces to it. I was able to buy all of this for half of what she had on it. So she had $48 on it, I paid 24. The wall pocket was strangely not included in that price. And um, I think I added it on for a few dollars. So yes, I looked this up and I did know a little bit about it before I bought it in the moment because you know, $24 is still quite a bit of money. And even if it's not the money, it's just a lot of stuff to worry about, you know, trying to package it and photograph it and everything. So for something like this, I can easily make $100 plus for it. 
plus shipping. So I know that I did sell one teacup and saucer, very similar in the thousand faces pattern. And the one teacup and saucer I sold, I listed it, it sold quickly for $30, but that did include shipping as well. So, I mean, if we want to look at it in another way, $20 for a cup and a saucer, and I've got five of those, and then we've got all the coordinating pieces. So I, I think definitely this is going to be a really great item for the amount of money that I spent on it. Like I said, though, it's Double Tea Japan, made in Japan, and that is the uh, to team. It's so hard. All of these uh, companies, and they're they're not like English. Well, they are they're equivalents, but it's hard to remember all of the the names. So I'll put that down below what the Double Tea stands for. And uh, yes, again, it's from about the 20s time frame with these really cool things. Okay, I also bought this right here. It's a vase. It was marked $10 and I paid five. This one is also marked hand painted, made in Japan with just like a little star stamp at the bottom. It's almost impossible just about to figure out the maker of some of these things. So in a lot of ways, it hardly matters. And what people and collectors look for is just the age on them and the style when we're talking about just made in Japan items. Now, unless you're getting into Noritake and then some of these larger brand names, yes, but this is not marked with a brand. So we're gonna go off a of style and I bought it because of its colors and the birds and the flowers on it and $5 was not terrible. So for something like this, uh, I'm gonna try for about 30 plus shipping and the shipping will be about 10 or $12. So this could be about a $40 base. I'm gonna try for that. I think it's really pretty. And it also has a design on the back too. It's all hand painted. So that's a great part about this kind of stuff. It's not transferware, which, you know, look, I don't have any problem with transferware, but this is hand painted stuff. So this took time and uh, it's just really pretty. Now, this is awesome. And I do have quite a lot of these like little vessels like this, little bowls and things in this haul in particular. This one was $8, I paid four. So we've got this, and it almost lends itself to this art deco with the way, well, it's this kind of oriental Japan kind of squared off situation, but it's really pretty. It has gold gilding on the inside, sort of like embossed over the paint job uh, with like a more, um, it's just very pretty. Hand painted in upon, it's marked for this open bowl. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to try for about 24 plus shipping for that one. And the shipping um, be about 10 bucks. This here is another beautiful one. This is Noritake and it has the M mark on the back here for the Mori, Mori Mura, M-O-R-I-M-U-R-A-I. More R A. Oh, these words. It's the brothers, the Morimura brothers. I think that's how it's pronounced by Noritake, made in Japan. So this one here has the little, uh, what is that, a cabin and a lake scene. It's just really pretty. I like the double handles on it. And for $4, I just think it's really nice. This one I will put for about, again, 24 plus shipping on it. And it's really very nice. Again, that one is Noritake. Noritake, I believe, ranges from about 1911 onward. Here is a beautiful piece of Nippon. Beautiful. Nippon actually dates prior to 1921. So this is gonna be 21 and earlier. And it can go back as far as 1891. That's when the McKinley Tariff Act was enacted. So, well, it was, a, it was enacted in 1890, but then it took over in, 18, in 91. Ha! Okay, so beautiful. This has like a little lake scene on it with a sailboat. It's really pretty. I like that it's footed. Really pretty. So the feet are nice for if you have really nice wood and you don't want to warp it if you have hot things in it. But look, you're not going to want to use this. So uh, it's hand painted. It's, it's just a very beautiful dish. 
Something like this I will ask more for, probably about $30 plus shipping. So this one could be around the $40 mark. These are tentative pricing uh, without really delving in deep to look at the research on it. This is based on uh, preliminary research and the value based on the style. This one here is a really pretty nut bowl and I'm not sure what kind of nuts these are, but I love the Greek key pattern around the edge of this one. And this one is marked Nippon as well, hand painted Nippon. So this is all lovely, lovely porcelain in this case. Uh, really pretty. I paid $6. Oh, I forgot to mention on this one, I the, on the Nippon I paid four, which was not bad. This one here I paid six. So um, again, about in this one, about 24 plus shipping on this one here. Okay, and then I have this beautiful plate. And I will say, if you watch the video, the shop will the shop along video. I um, I didn't spend. I here. I I went back. So I went back and I bought more things that I didn't buy the first time. And the only reason why I went back is I forgot to sign the check. <laughs> so I forgot to sign the check, but luckily I was able to find a few more things whenever I went back anyway. I think this was one of them. It's a lusterware bird plate. Now, if I could just remember what these birds were called. So it's not a parrot, but it's colorful. Is it a cockatoo, cockatiel, I don't know. It's beautiful. It's a lusterware peach and blue luster handle plate. Very nice, good size. I love it. I paid $5 for it. It was originally marked 10. And this one is just Sam to made in Japan. So it could have been any number of companies. We have no clue, but we do know that it's prior to probably the 30s. So somewhere 20s and 30s for this peach luster. Very pretty. I love that one quite a bit. For a plate like this, I'm hoping for I'm hoping for about 15 plus shipping for something like this. So um, that would put it around $24 total. This one here is actually one of my favorite pieces of both haul videos. I say that, but you never know <laughs> until I find something else. I love this one for a couple of reasons. The first thing. It's Nippon, so it has that going for it. Secondly, it's shaped like a canoe. It's brilliant, I love the shape of this. Thirdly, the paint job is spectacular. Beautiful colors used, everything's very harmonious. Details nice. Then we've got gold, this gold gilded on the outside. Everything, I just love it so much and I paid $3. The prices were all over the place. I have no idea why some things were 12, some things were six. I looked it over, there's no issues at all. It's Nippon. So it's a, it's a really pretty canoe. I, I like this one a lot. This one I'm gonna go for probably about mid 40s total. With, that includes shipping. So that is fun, I like that one a lot. I did get this really nice cruet set. It's like a salt, pepper, what do you put, mustard in there, oil, vinegar. So it's one of this type, these types of deals. What I paid for it though, I'm actually not sure. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't more than, it, I, I, oh golly. I think it was under $7, I, I, I think, it better be. So, now what's strange is, here's the back. We have this Moriage enameling, more so. So there's this enamel paint job on it. It's not really luster. It's beautiful though, it's a nice set. This one, I need to do a little bit more research on it to see what I think it's worth. Uh, offhand, I'm feeling it's a good sizable set. Everything's there. I would like 40 with shipping included on it. I think that would be good for that one. So that's cool. I picked up a variety of sugar and creamers. I have some of them in this haul and then in tomorrow's video, some more sugar and creamers. So if you're a fan of those, look out because got some great ones. 
This one here is, is a luster piece. Beautiful paint job on here. So there was a ton of stuff to choose from. And because the prices were not the cheapest, I was making sure everything I bought, I at least really enjoyed. So the paint job on here is very well done. We've got a swan. Yes, we have a really pretty swan right here in the lake and the tree, everything, very nice. So this is a creamer and it was $12. I paid six. It's very dirty on the inside. This will have to be washed out. And this is Noritake with the M logo in the wreath. Made in Japan, very pretty. This one, no, actually, um, I'm not sure what I wanted to do on the price of these. I'm thinking somewhere around $20 plus shipping. So could be just shy of $30 for this creamer. And I paid six. So that's that one. Another creamer is this one here. Really pretty. Uh, this one doesn't have a lid on it which is actually strange now that I think about it. Most creamers don't really have lids, but that one does, so that's cool. This one was $2.50 because it was originally marked five. I will put on this one about 12 to $15 plus shipping. So maybe around 20, between 20 to $25 all in for that one. It's really pretty though. It has this blue background. Ooh, it kind of iridescent not even iridescent, it looks almost rainbow, weird. And then we've got these two birds flying to meet each other with the flower background. And it's made in Japan, stamped on the bottom. And then I also have this little sugar dish. I believe that's what, what it is. It's really pretty profile here. Has sort of like a deco inspiration to it in my opinion with the way the design is. However, this one is made in Germany. So that is a difference. Probably the only German item I have out of everything. Strange. So this one is marked on the bottom, made in Germany. And I'm not going to attempt to read the bottom, but it does the Arsberg, which I looked up and Arsberg is a pottery company. I believe they're still in production today. This piece here is older, 30s. 30s porcelain, 1930s porcelain. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. It has the spoon. Uh, I believe it's the original spoon too. So I paid three dollars for this. For something like this here, I'm expecting about 24 to 26 dollars with shipping included. It's all there. Very cool. This one here I picked up because of the shape of it. Really interesting large size, all painted. It has this kind of soap bubble, iridescent background. I don't know if you can see that with the light, but the way it hits it, really nice. It was $5 in my case is what I paid. And it's marked made in Japan and has the flower on the back, back stamp. Very nice. Uh, something like this, probably about $30 with shipping included. Shipping will be a little annoying because it's longer. So yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to basically make about $20 on it. Minus cost of goods and all the ship, uh, um, cost of goods, fees, and everything else that I don't need to get into. So yeah, uh, not too bad for a $5 investment. Let's take a little break for a minute and talk about these wonderful bird creamers. I can't decide if I wanna sell them together as a set or not. They are just so cool. They definitely deserve to be on their own, I think, because they are so unique. It is beautiful. They're beautiful hand-painted creamers. What kind of bird are they? I don't know. I'm just glad to identify them as a bird and not a fish. So they are both marked made in Japan, nothing else. Uh, I paid, I don't know if they were a set or not. I hope, because I paid $6 a piece if so. That's not terrible. I think they were $6 a piece. So originally marked 12. So six and six, I would hope to sell them for about 20 plus shipping. So let's call it $28 each. They're beautiful though. I need, I, I need to wash all of this. It's not the most dirty stuff I've ever found because they were in a retail setting, but they have been setting for 
years, about 20 years. So that's a, that's a good while. This one here, I actually need a little help from anyone who happens to know. I wouldn't have bought this except she was insisting that I buy it. She said that this is a spoon rest. My thoughts were it is part of a salt and pepper, mustard or sugar set and it's missing those pieces. Someone else happened to be in the store that same time, customer, and insisted as well, no, it's for spoons. So I'm not familiar with that. They must be small spoons and you'd put multiple spoons in there. I, the way she described it, I believe, is that you would have it on your table for say, like little condiments maybe, and you'd set them in there. I don't know what to believe. There is a lip on it. it. It doesn't look like any kind of a spoon rest I've ever seen. But then again, this is not my wheelhouse. I paid $4 for it. If it's, if it's a mistake, fine. But you know what? It's one of those things. It's cool. The whole time, I, I want to just say, the whole time I was at this buying event, she was insisting certain things were more valuable than they were. And she may be right in some cases, but um, it kind of got to me after a while. So that might have been a mistake. I don't know. I She was like, trust me, trust me, trust me. And she was believable. So I have no reason not to. It's just that I don't know if she misunderstood something or in the case of values, I don't think I made any mistakes necessarily here. It's just that she was trying to get me to buy a lot of other things that I knew just were not sellable right now. But um, I don't want to really deviate too much from that because it's not important, but these here are awesome. So I happen to not know what these are. I did not research it. I bought them because they were cool, but they are marked Orchids of Hawaii, Japan. So they are awesome and I have a pair of them. Strangely, this one is lighter than this one, dramatically lighter, and they have the same writing on the bottom. Actually, they're marked the same, but they're not the same mold. But they kind of are the same mold. I don't know. I paid uh, $6 a piece because they were unique looking. So I don't know. They're probably from the 50s, but even still, they're really cool. What to ask for them, I'm not sure. I did not happen to look that up. Since I paid $6, actually no, I paid $3 a piece. I forgot to half that. So they were six and I paid $3 each. I would hope that they're worth about $20 each plus shipping. I did buy these two little tidbit bowls. They are tidbit trays handled and they are marked Noritake made in Japan, US design applied for patent in the Rosera pattern. I just bought them both. They were, they were $6 a piece my cost. So I will double check the pricing on those. They're really pretty. They make a great little design moment. So not sure on the value of those either. I would, I would think, just to give you something, I would think that they're worth about $20 plus shipping them. $28 each. So I picked up some of these wonderful made in Japan shakers here and then these vases. Let me show you these. I sold something very similar to these before and they sold for an easy $15 plus shipping. I think that I'm going to try for that again. They were originally $12 and I paid six for the pair. So, um, yeah, about 15 or so dollars plus shipping would put these around $26. $26 would be good for these. And they're really pretty. They got the, the muted colors of this red and the orange and the basket weave pattern and the cream. So we're talking probably the late 20s or early 30s on these. So those are fun. And then again, in the same sort of coloring and everything, we've got these two vases. This one here has this wonderful, these handles on it. I paid $6 for this. Some of the stuff I'm like, why did I pay so much? Uh, this one here is one of them. So I paid six dollars for this vase and it is hand painted Japan with a K inside of a flower. That's gonna be hard to figure out. But it's really pretty and um, yeah, probably another $15 plus shipping item. Same thing with this one here. 
This one was also $6, made in Japan. It's pretty, it's just a really pretty vase. Another $15 plus shipping item. So, yeah, about $26 on each one of those. One of my favorite things of the haul, just beautiful, and I don't even know if I wanna sell them. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to, I always do. It's just, I don't know, I'll, I'll need to hold on to them a little bit longer probably. I think I have this bird, I just love bird items. That's part of my problem. These are some lusterware, it's a cup and saucer. Look at that. Oh, it's a peach luster on the inside, sort of this creamy beige color on the outside. Look at the colors on that bird and the flowers and the branch. It is just stunning. I mean, it's dirty, I, got, I have to wash it, but I paid $3, or no, I didn't. She only did 20% off on these. So whatever that is, but I paid up for these because they are so pretty and I bought two. She only had two. Oh, they're just stunning. I love those. So if I sold them, I don't even know what I would sell them for. I have not been able to find anything like them online. And uh, it's, only, it's just one of those things where I can't really wrap my head around a value on them because I'm a little too attached. So I might have to wait a little longer before I can uh, detach myself from them value-wise. But I will wrap this up here. Hopefully you were able to stick around through all this. Let me know in the comments below if you did. I'm just kind of curious who all watches the whole thing. But um, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.